Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's time to play some of your GeoGuessr maps once again. The five maps this time are Animal Road Signs, Darker Than Usual Locations, All 152 Canadian CMAs and CAs, Only Islands, and an Improved Bathrooms of Chicago. As always, quite the uh, interesting selection of maps here, so let's hop into the first one. Make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel, and here we go. Animal Road Signs is the first map today. This is a cool idea from Kathy. Now, I love obscure signage like this, so hopefully we see some exotic animals on these signs. Links are in the description to play along. One minute, no moving. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we get. And while I play these seeds, I do have some exciting news to share as well. So let's get into the first one. Oh, <laughs> we got a dog taking a dump on the sign. That's incredible. Okay. Not quite what I was expecting to see on this map, but it, it is an animal road sign. All right, where are we here? Got a bit of French here. Yellow plate there. All yellow plates, so it actually looks like we're going to be in Luxembourg. That does make sense with some of the architecture, too. What a crazy sign, though. I feel like that sets the stage for this video. <laughs> well, in any case, let's click on Luxembourg here. Now, the first exciting piece of news I wanted to share with you is that I was actually on the news earlier this week on WGN, a local Chicago station. That was a really cool experience. Uh, let's make the guests here in Luxembourg, and there we go. But yeah, it was awesome being on the news. WGN is a legendary local channel here in Chicago, so it was such a cool experience. Got to play a few rounds of GeoGuessr, so... Make sure to check it out. I'll have a link to the video in the description. All right, on to round number two. Let's see what else we get. Here we got an elephant crossing sign. That is awesome. So with that uh, and the road lines and then this car, we're going to be in Sri Lanka. That's really cool. Definitely not something you see every day. So Sri Lanka here. Let's click in the middle for now. It's not very hilly, so... Yeah, I just kind of click up here. As for the other exciting announcement, as you might know, I host tournaments every other Saturday, and there's now a way to qualify for tournaments in an ongoing process. Let's see where this round is, and I'll explain a little bit more what I mean by that. Of course, I'm on the opposite side of the country, but basically the way it works is with the daily challenges in our Discord server. After three weeks of challenges, the 16 players with the highest total score in those games will be invited to a 1v1 tournament. We just got started earlier this week, but it's not too late to sign up. You can join as late as the last day of the three weeks. Information, once again, in the description and in Discord. Okay, that's all the news I had to share, so let's get into round number three and focus fully on these signs. Whoa, what is that? Very long-tailed creature. <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. It looks like we're in Australia here. Australians, you guys gotta let me know in the comments. What is that? I have no idea. You guys have all kinds of crazy animals out here, so let's try to region guess this. It feels a bit tropical. I feel like some of the trees are quite warm climate like that, for sure. Feels pretty north to me up here. Yeah, I might go like up north of Brisbane, something in Queensland where it gets a bit tropical-ish like that. So let's see if I'm on the right track. And yeah, it's way farther north, up by Cairns. I feel like I should know what that is, but again, Australians, let me know. Here is the next one, and again, what? I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at there. It reminds me of like a... An anteater or something. Looks like we're in Malaysia here and got a huge palm oil plantation around us. So you see a lot of those just kind of honestly everywhere in the middle of Malaysia here. But with the Gen 4 coverage, have to be on the peninsula. Any Malaysians out there, let me know what that is. Or any like zoologists or someone. Someone please tell me what that is. I'm dying to know. So just click in Pahang here. And almost, almost. Not bad, honestly. I think we're doing decently. Our last round. What is this? Is this a... I guess it's pointing out horse-drawn carriages here. That's a very interesting sign. That looks really weird to me. Is it just me? Like, what? Why does it look like that? Anyway. Well, beyond that, uh, we do have a bit of Cyrillic and then this car. So we should be in Bulgaria. You sometimes get the red Gen 4 antenna there. So let's take a look here. I'm gonna just go for Plevin. I don't know. Why not? And wrong choice, it is Pazarjik. Definitely saw some really interesting signs here. And again, let me know if you guys know what some of those animals were. <laughs> really fun map, let's get into the next one. Next map is a very intriguing concept. This is darker than usual locations from Game Boy Genius. Now, as the description says, it's any locations darker than usual for whatever reason. It could be nighttime, early morning, late evening, being in a valley, in a thick forest, or a camera malfunction. Thankfully, there are no tunnels. That's very good to hear. Let's get into this and see what we are going to get. Oh, that's very dark. Wow. Actually insanely dark. Like, you can see it's not nighttime at all. It's it's fully light out, but yeah, just a really dark forest. Honestly, a little bit hard to tell what's happening here. I kind of wanted to say this was the UK or something, or France. It feels like that, but I'm not sure. It does kind of look like we're driving on the left here, the way this car is positioned, so maybe it is. Maybe it is. Don't really know where to click, but yeah, I'll just kind of click there. We'll see. Is this correct? It is out, out on Cornwall. That actually makes a lot of sense. All right, very interesting first round. Let's go to the next one. 
Here we go. Oh, very dark. Yeah. All right. Well, on top of that, this is also the low quality camera you get in India and Cambodia, Ecuador. Uh, this one's going to be India with the poles here. Do you have a little bit of language? Oh, what is that? It's hard to see which script that is. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, no. Beyond that, it's pretty dark out as the map suggested it would be. So can't really see what's going on here. It just kind of feels like south to the middle somewhere. The script is feeling like something out here. Yeah, I don't know. I might just go like Karnakata. Let's see. Is it actually Karnakata? Wow, that's not bad. I honestly can't complain there. That's not bad. Round three. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at this sun... Sunrise. The sun is east here. Okay. Very cool. Google driver out here early. Getting some beautiful footage. I love it. Uh, here it looks like we're going to be in Argentina with this car and the landscape. Beyond that, though, it's kind of hard to make out the foliage here, which is really helpful in Arge, so I don't know what to click. Kind of look really closely. I mean, there aren't that many trees around, but it's more grassy than shrubby, so it might just be agricultural. So maybe just we, maybe we just go BA province. Let's just do that. Let's see. And, uh, it's La Pampa. Okay. Or no. No, just over the border in Rio Negro. Doesn't really matter, though. That's fine. Round number four. Alright, another kind of dark location. Similar to the Cornwall one. It's still light out, but, like, just in the very thick forest. Now, this is New Zealand here with this car, and a lot of these ferns as well. A lot of times I associate this with, like, North Island stuff, but you do sometimes in the mountains here get locations like this, so I'm not sure what to do. Tough to say, honestly. I might have to, like, hedge it and go here. Let's see. Yeah, it is way, wow, way south. Okay. Interesting one for sure, but it makes sense. And the final round, let's see. Is it New Zealand again? No, probably not. I think it is actually New Zealand again. That's the only thought I had here. And maybe this is more certainly north, if we're here. <laughs> am I throwing this round, dude? This might be wrong. What, what am I missing? Let's just go for it. Oh my god, why Why is it down here? I mean, sure. Oh, I'm doing terribly with my New Zealand region guessing here. That is rough, man. Very interesting map for sure. A little bit tricky. When it's dark, you can't really make out the foliage. Uh, I mean, New Zealand's just a skill issue, but overall, very cool concept. Thanks for sharing. Next up, we've got an urban map here from AJ. This is all 152 Canadian census metropolitan areas and census agglomerations. Quite the mouthful of census jargon there, but essentially, Canadian urban areas. AJ has been working on this map for months. He's been sharing his progress in Discord, so it's been really cool to see him work on this. So let's see what he's got for us here once again links in the description and here we go all right starting in a nice residential area we do have a french street name so probably quebec here this kind of just looks like anywhere in quebec to me i'm not gonna lie uh, i might go like trois rivières shawinigan <laughs> i don't know man something something hedging in between the two big cities yeah screw it we're gonna go trois rivières let's see ah sherbrooke i almost considered clicking that too not a bad start round number two Looks like more French. Okay. And we do have the city logo on the street sign. I don't recognize that. Anything else here? Doesn't look good. Okay. This one with how flat it is and then some of the foliage too. It feels more aligned with like Ontario. So I can see us more like down here. It doesn't really feel like deep into Quebec to me. And definitely not like way up here. That's my gut instinct. Let's see. No. Now it's Trois Rivières. No. Now it's Schwinnigan. <laughs> okay. I'm mentioning these places, man, but not actually guessing there. Round three. What do we have? Will it all be Quebec here? Looks like we got, we got bilingual signs. Campbell's. There is a place called Campbell. Ah, oh, where's that? That's Ontario. Let's look over here. What am I thinking of? I'm not sure what I'm thinking of. Uh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> well, what is this? We do have front plates. So, ah, oh, you know, it's probably New Brunswick. No, no, no. With the bilingual signs, too. Campbellton. That's what I'm thinking of. We might be there, might be Bait, Victoria, and Dow Streets. Let's see if this works. I mean, it does fit the grid, kind of. Nah, there's no way this is here. Simply no way. Let's see. No, it is it is Ontario. That one wasn't so great. Again, Canada's so hit or miss for me. And we're back in Quebec here. French signs. Robin and Calcium Rue. So, uh, I want to say this is probably a Montreal suburb. Oh, uh, wow. How does this work? I have no idea how these cities work, man. Now oh, here's the 15th. Wait, there's Robin. Oh, is that it? No way. There we go. That's surely it. How did I find it? That's insanity. Well, that's a good feeling. 5k. I think there was Laval there. And our last round, this is going to be out in the prairies, I think. We're in 50th Avenue, Deer Valley, West Haven Boulevard. Yeah, definitely looking like Calgary or something. 50th Deer Valley. Let me take a look at Calgary or like Edmonton or something. Let me just check a bunch of cities. No, that's not going to be this. 
different numbered streets here. See Edmonton. No, not quite Edmonton either. Is it Red Deer? There are numbered streets like this here. Okay, yeah, maybe this is it. 40. Where's 50? Oh, I don't think 50 exists. Oh no. Come on. I'm out, I'm out of time. I gotta go for it. Let's see. No. Oh, it's it's Leduc. <laughs> there we go. Again, a little bit hit or miss there. I'm disappointed with this uh, third round, but otherwise we 5 k to one round. I'll be happy with that. Thank you, AJ, for the map. Again, a lot of work went into this, so shout out to this map, and let's go to the next one. Only Islands is next, a name reminiscent of a certain adult website, so let's see what this map has in store for us. This is a huge map as well. One million plus locations. Actually, 3.5 million. Absolutely insane. Now, this is a map created by drawing polygons, so we could run into some photos spheres or something like that. Hopefully we do get all official coverage here, but a lot of islands here. I'm pretty sure Bendy said that every island in the world is on this map, so first round. Let's see. Uh, wow, okay. Road lines look just British. Yeah, that's all I got here. It looks just like the UK somewhere. Let's go for it. And there we go, it is indeed. <laughs> pretty, pretty typical, pretty typical rural UK round. Next one. Let's see. Oh, is this South Korea? Interesting. Okay. Korean island. Is it Jeju? Yeah, we do have the black volcanic stone walls. You see those a lot in Jeju? And that's the only island in South Korea that I know. Cool to get Jeju here. It's awesome. Uh, as for where we are, it seems like a big city, so... Click in the city of Jeju. Let's see. That works. Very good so far. Round three. Canada this time. Landscape-wise, feeling like Newfoundland. With these kinds of trees. And again, that's like the first island that comes to mind. Uh, won't be Prince Edward Island, it's too hilly, way too hilly to be there. Cape Breton Island is... possible? I don't think so though, this is just way more of a newfie landscape, I think. I'm just trusting the gun on these rounds, let's go for it. Yeah, there we go, way out there. Alright, so far so good, next round, Indonesia here. Guys, I, I need to learn my Kabupaten, you know, I had that great Gorontalo guess in the uh, World Cup qualities, but... Don't know, don't know what this is. Sinair Depok. Not sure. Let me see any uh, polls or something. <laughs> Other clues, please. Don't see much. Let me take a look here. I mean, I want to say it's like Java, kind of East Java. What is Depok? Like, that almost vaguely sounds familiar. I have no idea. I'm going East Java. Come on. It's just West Java. Jakarta. Damn, alright. Not great, not bad either. Round of number five, the last one. We're in the US, and surely this will be Long Island. We got the yellow plates here. Definitely gonna be out here somewhere. And I think we actually have New York City street signs. Yeah, oh, Flushing. Okay, that's part of Queens. So, yeah, there we go. Flushing Ave, Steuben Street. Let's see if we can 5k here in Queens. I'm not seeing Flushing Street here. We got 10 seconds left, so whatever. Just click there. Oh, uh, that's why, because we're not actually there. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all right. Can't complain. We didn't do terribly score-wise. I feel like the scoring is pretty forgiving on this huge map, so we'll take it. Not bad at all. Nice concept of a map. Pretty cool variety as well, and thankfully no unofficial locations that we got in this suit. So that was fun. Thank you for this one, Bendy. Well, let's get into the final map, which is Improved Bathrooms of Chicago. All the locations are only in Chicago city limits this time, so thank you, 8U, for that. <laughs> I don't understand these maps, but we're gonna play them anyway. Link's in the description if you want to subject yourself to whatever <laughs> this is gonna be. This was on the first map. This is Buckingham Fountain, downtown in Grant Park. Greatest bathroom in the city for sure. Amazing place to go. It's interesting to get this Gen 2 coverage every time downtown. You're like, you're missing so many skyscrapers. Aqua, Vista missing from there. Uh, there's one under construction there, we're missing Essex on the park, and Thousand M over here. Nima isn't built yet, so many towers in the last 15 years. Anyway though, me transforming into a tour guide every time Chicago shows up aside. There we go, round two. Oh boy, oh, we got an interior location, oh yes, there we go. There's the men's room. What is this building, is this like a, a hospital, school, computer lab, CS Tutor? Okay, yeah, seems like a... Computer department of some school, then. Interesting. Oh, what's this banner? Oh, East West University. Okay. East West University, I've heard of. That's... Is that downtown? There's... I've seen, they have signs for it all around. There's a bunch of random schools downtown that are only in, like, one skyscraper. There's, like, Roosevelt University, which is actually that tower under construction you can see in the Buckingham Fountain. They have just a, a big skyscraper, and that's the school. It's it's all there. Bunch of stuff like that downtown. I don't know where East-West is. I have no idea. I, I just click here. Let's see. 
Uh, a little bit farther south. There we go. Shout out to East West University, I guess. A completely random location. That's crazy. And here we have the bathroom at Buckingham Fountain. The actual bathroom. Uh, if we're looking north here, we should be... Yeah, this one. This one. What a location. Amazing stuff. I don't think I've ever actually used that bathroom. Maybe I have a long time ago. I don't really remember. In any case, round four. Oh, this is fancy. Wow. Very luxurious. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> I do not see it. I would like a refund. Maybe you suggesting we just go on the floor here. <laughs> just give these wealthy people a piece of our minds. But I actually just don't see the bathroom here. What is this building though? Surely kind of downtown. It could be like Gold Coast too. Something very wealthy. You know, screw it. We're gonna go in Gold Coast. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this block? That's ridiculous. It is Gold Coast. That is the kind of place you're gonna see buildings like that in Chicago. I honestly can't believe that. Last round. And there it is. There it is. The toilet. We finally found one. Looks like another pretty nice hotel here. Anytime you got wine glasses in the room, you know it's a nice place. I have no idea what hotel this is. Probably just gonna go downtown again. Bunch of nice hotels here. This, Kimpton Gray, never heard of that. It's four stars, so sounds good to me. Hopefully, if we are lucky, we break 24k. Let's see. Oh, we're not lucky at all. It's up here. Which hotel is this? Oh, it's the Waldorf Astoria. Five-star hotel. Well, there we go. All locations were indeed in Chicago, so he loved to see that. Uh, thank you, 8U, for this completely random map. I don't understand, but it's a lot of fun to play. Well, with that, again, thank you to all of our map makers today. This was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed playing along and watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.